UFOs are frequently reported to be hiding in or near clouds. Case in point, last season we examined a 1971 photograph of an alleged metallic disc nestled in the clouds above Lake Cote, Costa Rica. Our next story suggests that this is an ongoing trend. February 14, 2010, 45 miles southeast of Santiago, Chile, a family of three arrives near the El Yeso Reservoir for a Sunday picnic in the Andes. It's a beautiful day, so the mother takes 16 pictures of the valley and the sky up above with her digital camera. It isn't until they return home and review the photos that she realizes what she's captured. One of the photos shows the sun shining in the middle of bright white clouds. Above it, to the left, is a band of reddish clouds, and embedded within is a seemingly massive saucer-shaped object. The Chilean government reviewed the photos and shared them with Ted Rowe, who runs the National Aviation Reporting Center on Anomalous Phenomena, or NARCAP. He conducted an exhaustive analysis of these photographs. The photograph contains an anomaly in the upper left-hand quadrant. You see the sun, you see a, a fluffy layer of cumulus clouds, and then behind them you see a layer of reddish clouds, and embedded in those clouds is what appears to be part of a disk. The lines you're seeing across this photograph represent separate sections the NARCAP analyst used to record light levels in the photo and determine if the object was solid. You want to understand how that light is distributed, looking at the red, green, and blue factors primarily, and studying the luminance of the object and of the environment. Each section is given a number value, and when that data was compared to the surrounding area, here's what NARCAP concluded. This study resolves that this is, in fact, an external anomaly. It does not appear to be inserted in the photograph, so we're left with an unidentified aerial phenomenon. Journalist MJ Benias notes that Chile is often mentioned as the country with the highest recorded number of UFO sightings. UFO enthusiasts have even claimed this lagoon that lies behind the mountain surrounding the El Yeso Reservoir could be a UFO landing strip. We have countless other reports of UFO-shaped clouds all over Chile. There's reports out of Sobre, Metacunga, and the Chilean Patagonia. We also have a lot of reports of other UFO sightings around the El Yeso Reservoir. As for the photo showing an alleged UFO in the clouds... There is a theory out there that UFOs will hide in clouds or even generate clouds around them to stay hidden from humans. In January 2023, a similar UFO-shaped cloud shocked residents of a city in Turkey. It hung in the skies for over an hour. What they captured here was a lenticular cloud which forms when air blows across tall structures like a mountain range and causes vapor to condense in these stunning disc-like shapes. So could the object seen in our Chilean photo have a similar explanation, or is it a genuine UFO? First, are we actually looking at something in the sky or something in the camera? Astronomer and video effects designer Mark D'Antonio has a theory that starts with those strange colors seen in the sky. These are cirrus clouds. They're ice crystals at high altitude that form in the atmosphere. And sometimes, the way the sun hits them, you get this beautiful prismatic effect. And that's what we're seeing here, in my view. Here's another thing. If we divide the image in half, we have the sun over here and the object over here, and the distance from the center of frame to that object is the same. The likelihood is very small that an object is going to be exactly the same distance away from the center of the frame as the sun, unless you're a lens flare. Lens flares that can take the form of rings, spheres, starbursts, and other shapes are caused when bright light hits the camera lens, creating artifacts. But meteorologist Juan Hernandez respectfully disagrees with the lens flare theory. Although I'm not a photography expert, it does not seem like we're looking at a camera artifact. We have this odd orange spot within the clouds. I'm not exactly sure why that would appear in that location. Oftentimes, camera artifacts might look like lines. In this case, uh, we see a blob in the middle of the clouds. Hernandez explores the notion that what we're seeing could be lenticular clouds, which are commonly mistaken for UFOs. It's possible to have lenticular clouds in the Andes, but only under certain conditions. And those conditions were not met this specific day. 
we would be looking for more moisture in the air and faster flow in the wind speed. For Hernandez, it's the reddish hue that's the biggest mystery. The likely explanation towards a reddish hue to any cloud would be a setting sun. We obviously don't have a setting sun. It's the middle of the day. Physicist Matthew Shinagas agrees with Hernandez that this thing is indeed a thing. The photograph has been studied by UFO experts looking for mundane explanations like nearby aircraft, and they did come up empty for this day and time. After carefully reviewing the NARCAP report, Shadagas agrees with their findings. I agree with the conclusion of the NARCAP report, which suggested that this object is truly unidentified. So it's a genuine UFO. That doesn't mean it's an alien spacecraft. It simply means we are unable to identify what it is. Well, there you have it. We're calling this a genuine UFO. While the Chilean government has yet to comment on the photo, NARCAP has released their 23-page case report to the public. And for more information, you can visit narcap.org.